Hello, my name is Dr. Damron. I'm a breast pathologist. I did my medical training at the Medical University of South Carolina, followed by a pathology residency at Baylor College of Medicine, and subsequently got expertise in breast pathology at the University of Pennsylvania. I want to throw this video together for the patients so you kind of have a better idea of what happens to your breast biopsy from the time you get it to the time you get the results. I understand this can be an anxious time for you waiting to get those results. Sometimes it can take a couple days. So I wanted to throw this together so you all have a better idea of what we're doing on our end to give you the right diagnosis. So let's get started. So once we receive the specimen, you can see on the right side here, these small yellow portions of tissue, that's actually the tissue that has been removed from your breast. So generally very small amounts of tissue in these biopsies. And when we receive them, we load them into these cassettes here. And we wanna make sure that we fix the tissue for the proper amount of time, because you know per guidelines things have to be fixed for a certain amount of time before we run tests on them so that those tests are validated and once we place them in the cassettes we then load them into tissue processors and this processing time can take up to a day so generally this is something we run with all of our tissue overnight and then the next day we'll get to the next portion where we have these paraffin embedded blocks now where you can see the tissue is almost in this wax material we're going to cut that on a microtome into these very small three to four nanometer thick portions that are then placed onto a charged glass slide. So now you have to remember at this point in the process, we're already into the second day, right? The next day after we've received the tissue. Now that we have this slide, we need to be able to stain it so that we can look at it under the microscope and determine what the diagnosis is. And we're going to do that with an HND, which is hematoxylin and eosin. And that's going to take about another hour. And it's ultimately going to give us a glass slide with the stained tissue that we can now put under the microscope and look at the histology so that we can make our diagnosis. Now, keep in mind, we may need to order additional tests on top of that. So immunohistochemistry, those can take anywhere up to three hours to get on top of that or even longer depending on how the lab functions. So if you're going through this process, I wish you all the best. I wanted to give you just a moment, a few minutes, so you have an idea of what we're doing behind the scenes while you're waiting on these results. And of course, we do our best to get you those as soon as possible. So wish you all the best, and hopefully you found this a little bit helpful and gave you a little information into how you get your diagnosis.